Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between Tagir Ulambekov versus Tyson Nam. And how I see this one right here is, I just think to get like flat out, I think Tagir overall is the better fighter. I just think it's that fight IQ, I think he's higher. Uh, yeah, his application of his skill, skills, I think is better. And how overall his tools, like I feel like he'll have the striking advantage and the grappling advantage. Definitely will have the wrestling advantage as far as just a broad, like, you know, just a, take a skill out of that broad sense of overall grappling and the specific grappling, specifically wrestling, edge and air. And even though he's not going to have no height advantage at both 5'7", he will have a 2-inch reach advantage at 70 versus 68-inch reach of, I mean, yeah, of Tyson Nam. And I think this one, Tyson Nam's talking about he's making a promise, and you always like to hear that. If you, I guess if you're a coach or you're interested are you um, like him as a fighter or are you like oh I, I like the guy he still has a chance like and Tyson Nam does have a lot of solid skills he's not just that one punch knockout artist he does have a solid skills but I just feel like to get him, him back up just a higher level striker a higher level fighter higher level, level competitor and I think he's cleaner with his shots I feel like um, Nam a lot of times his best shots are counters and I feel like Ulumbeka is a fighter that's going to be good at keeping him on the edge of his punches so those counters, counters won't be there as presently and then from that point, when he frustrates Tyson Nam, Tyson Nam is going to try to crowd that range. That will open up opportunities for Unabekov to score takedowns or land counters on him after um, Tyson Nam gets frustrated at being on the end of his punches, on outside his punches, not being able to find his counters. And yes, he's going to talk about he's trying to be a new fighter or making improvements. You like to hear that thing, but you got to lean towards history. And a lot of times, people, like, people talk about do this and that. Like, look at um last card where Ariane List talking about she did this and did that. She left her only wrote one thing and you know dedicate herself and still ground game is not where it needs to be so people would say this and say that but a lot of times more than often not until i see it i can't lean, lean on that what he's saying and what he even saying and is not really saying much of anything like that what have you improvements have you made are you going to have a different are your fight iq going to evolve or have you truly mixed up any of your skills have you went and um really made some significant adjustments that are going to change the thing change anything Probably is a better fighter, but still, I just think even with the improvements, going to play out the same. Get frustrated on the outside, try to come on the inside. That's going to walk him into counters, walk him to takedowns, and really, Lembekov just going to be a step ahead and be leading the dance. And this is going to be his fight, however, which way he wants it. Not like a stop it or anything, but as far as whether he wants it on the ground or on the feet, it's his it's his, his decision. And I think it's going to be like I said, one or two steps, maybe even three steps ahead of Tyson Nam in this one, and just beats him to a decision. So in this one. I got Tegir Ulumbekov via decision.